Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel, back to Mrs. Leon's life. Again, I really want to wish everyone a good, 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 good time in joining my channel. I want you guys to come here and learn how to cook and learn how to do almost everything. Like, mostly I do cooking, cleaning, talk about my family, where we're going, we're not couponing. I love to coupon. There's going to be a lot about couponing, but it's just of my eight everyday stay at home mother life <laughs> And um, I want you guys to also know that I'm a Haitian woman. And sometimes I'll slip up some Haitian Creole in there too. Not all the time I'll be speak English. But when I do speak Creole is because I really want my Haitian community to really understand what I'm saying. I mean, they do understand. I'm not saying that they don't understand what I'm saying. But there's some people who do not understand. So if I do slip up and speak Creole now and then, forgive me. But... As you can see in the title, today is going to be about HHA versus CNA. Um, uh, <laughs> is it a great topic? Yes. <laughs> um, so I see that my glasses have a glare. You think I should take it? For Let me see. I, I mean, I could see without it because I'm I see uh, from far. But I see that it has like so much glare. I'm 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 assuming you can see my window, you can see my TV, maybe you can see what's behind the the um the phone. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take it off. But anyway, like I said, what's in my um title is uh the difference between CNA and HHA. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Luna. Yes, I took a little bit of Whitney's title because I love the way she said it. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Luna, and a um, long time ago, mm, she was told to get a job, to pay her phone bill. Um, what job was that? That was um, Acorn Community, uh, Acorn Community. Basically, it was like uh, telemarketing, phone banking, um, basically calling people, asking them if you're going to come and vote. This and third. So I had a good time with that job. It didn't last long because I had to give out paper in the street. And when the cold weather comes, the cold weather comes. I'm telling you, I am freezing trying to give out paper. So I said, you know what? Let me do something else. Boom. I did Burger King for two years. My manager was bipolar. I didn't know what bipolar was until I met this man. This man will be nice to you one minute and the next minute he is not nice. And me and my best friend, we used to work at the same location. Homegirl quit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm telling you this girl, but homegirl quit. She's like, um, I'm not doing this. Um, it was more to it, but you know, since it's YouTube and you know, for some reason they stop your videos, if you start cursing, I'm not gonna go ahead. But she was like, I'm not going to do this. Forget this job. She turned around, bent over. She was like, kiss my behind. And I was like, she was like, you come in? I'm like, girl, I got to pay this home. <laughs> I wanted to go with her because to tell you, just she was right. But I have a phone bill. And mind you, the phone bill was me and my sister. And I really wanted to keep tab on my sister because my sister is a fast ass. Um... She's not fast as it's just it's like she likes to fight and I wanted to be able to know where she's at and 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 her face was a face where people didn't get like people didn't like you know she had thick eyebrows and she always had frown um but she was my sister's very sweetheart but people keep te teasing her tagging her and um bullying her but anyway once upon a time, there was a girl named Luna, and she said, forget Burger King, forget all these things, let me do HHA. So we did HHA at Partners in Care. Um, they did the free class. I did a free class. I took the class. Um, I think it was like a week or so, and then I had to pass the test. I passed the test, and I got my certificate. That's it. 
nothing else. Um, boom. I was always confident in taking care of other people because I, I took care of my niece um, when she was a baby. I took care of my mom. There was a, a, a point where she was sick several times. She had amputee in her um, toes. She had two toes uh, removed and she had a biopsy um, in her derriere. Uh, so basically, I was I was okay. I was not uncomfortable smelling, seeing urine, feces, anything. I was okay. I was okay to do the job. I said, I, I, I'm I fine. I'm qualified for it. I, nothing's going to eat me out. So I did the job and when they said, oh, do you have a second language? I'm like, yeah, I speak Haitian Creole. Didn't think that was going to be a big deal, okay? Because um, they always say that when you do go for a job and you have a second language, it's a plus because you have a second language. Boom. I get the job and I went to a location and was a Haitian lady, right? Nothing wrong with Haitian people. I love my people. My people is my friend. They're my ride or die. But let me tell you about Haitian people. In America, when you do HHA, eh? they think we're their servants, we're their born, we're their esclave. Eh? No, I'm not. First of all, this is America, okay? The rules say this is what I got to do for you, this is what I'm going to do for you. If you want something else, you better hire a, a, a maid. I am not your maid. I'm here to help you because you have an issue. You have diabetes, high blood pressure, something happened to you, and I'm here to help you with your ADL, your a everyday life, okay? No. So I come in, I clock in, I say, hello. It's only four hours. What am I going to do for four hours? No. The lady do not give me a chance to even sit down. She tell me, do this, do that, go outside, get this, get that, get that. I didn't even get a chance to. And then I got to a point, I'm going to Oh, I'm going to speak real. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to as soon as that happened, boo boo, I call my agency. I say, hello, boom. Um, I don't want to work here. This is not working out for me. She think I'm her slave and I'm not a slave. First of all, I'm a, uh, I kind of lied to. I said, I'm not strong in Haitian Creole. Yes, I speak Creole, but I'm not too strong. And she's talking to me. I don't understand what she said. <laughs> just so that I can leave her house. Just so I won't come back. Because to tell you the truth, I'm not nobody's slave. Boom. That's one. There's another one. And so I left the job. So I left that. I left my four hours. Um, then there was like a good six six hours. And then they said that after a month, you get like seven, eight hours. I said, okay, fine. But it was a Haitian lady. I'm like, what the hell? Like, why are they giving me all these Haitian people? I'm like, there's nothing wrong with that. But can I get somebody else? Boom. I went to another Haitian lady. Boom, six hours. I was like, okay, six hours. I know I'm going to have a chance to sit down or rest and eat something. So I get there and she only speak Creole. Boom. I said, okay. I'm gonna work with her. I'm gonna make this happen. And she was um bedridden. She was bedridden, but she was an obese woman. And I looked at her and then she looked at me and I looked at her and she looked at me and I looked at her and I was like, I'm gonna do this. But she was a sweetheart, a very sweetheart. But she wanted me to transfer her by myself. I said, excuse me? I said, ma'am, you are a little heavy set. I try to say it the best I, I, I said it the best I can. See, um, madam, I don't know what I'm saying. 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 Et bah, non, m'a quoi m'a capable, ouais, m'a pas parlé créole, j'aime pas parler créole pour lui, hein. Mais m'essayer, m'try, I did my best. Mais il dit, m'a quoi m'a qu'à aider ou à l'en douche, non, parce que l'on rentre dans la douche, non, c'est vrai, ou fin bien, c'est vrai, mais qui j'en prends le fait, qui m'a qu'à l'aider ou, ouais. Et il dit, m'a dit, oh oui, c'est job ou si vous y aidez, ou si vous y faites ça pour faire, ou si vous y. 
me dit mais ou ka wè si deux moun pou levou la m pa ka fè sa and my you i already had common sense that i am not picking her up and putting her in a tub and then bring her out of the tub who she's going to be slippery and if anything is going to be my fault no 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 ma'am no that's not going to be in my in my notes that i drop some money on the floor no ma'am Oh, so she said, oh, and then what really agency are from the agency are, oh, we, but I can't go out. I'm saying, I'm going to let this out. Because I'm going to let this out. I'm going to let this out. I was a little fresh, but come on, sometimes when they're talking to you, they give you some attitude as if that I'm supposed to be their child. I'm going to have a supposed I'm supposed to be like their, their, their family member this no so then um i had a child um i did i did hha over like five years five years but um within those five years i did i did other people i told them stop giving me haitian people there's nothing wrong with haitian but sometimes they take advantage of me um i remember this one lady she made me clean chicken like i thought it was for her she made me clean chicken. She made me do rice. I could cook. If you can see my other channel, my other videos, you can see I can cook. She made me. Uh, she made me do chicken, rice, and peas. Me, I'm thinking it's for her. It's for her whole family. I said, Oh, madam, et pas qu'on s'allie non. Si ma femme j'ai assez, moi j'ai assez pour vous, chérie. On va faire manger pour toute famille. On va esclave, on va rester avec mari et la avo. Mon copain, mon copain, oui, mon gentil avo, oui, mon nice avo, tout ça. Mais on va pas dire que ça là, on va le faire manger, dire qu'on les sauce pour tout bas ça. Viens légumes. Et puis c'est pour faire mon lié et pas pour lié. Mais oui, mon copain c'est au cas manger la donne, mais mais elle mon yo yo a mangé tout. Non, ça va, ça va beaucoup. Pas de café, pas de café, chérie. So, um, I said, I can't do this. I can't do Haitian life. I can't. Let me do something else. So I did something else and, um, I did other, other nations. <laughs> I did West Indians. I did Asians. Asians, I will never go back there again because for some reason, they're hoarders. They're big hoarders. Like, hoarders. Like, you come to their house, you don't even want to sit down. You just want to hold your bag and say, I'm not coming back here anymore or I'm not clocking in. This is not working out. So I did all of this. I did livings. I did, um, cause I had a child and, um, sometimes they'll give you four hours, five hours. It's not enough money. So the livings are good. I used to do Jewish homes. You know, they always do, um, Shabbos. That's how they say Shabbos. And, um, living is good for me. Um, I, I see no problem. My husband was always here with my, my, my child and to this day i do nights and my husband my husband is always here and i come back home and i take care of my children that's it point blank period now that's hha um cna life cna live let me see if i have time mm. maybe i have like a good three minutes and i'm gonna let you guys cna life i want to do another separate video on how to um do your CNA, how to study, how to, um, to pass the, the, the test, the state test, because there's a state test you have to do, how to stay focused when you're in school, okay? When you're in school, you're not there for friends. You're here for your family. Your husband giving you money, you're going to work, you, you're paying for this. You're not here for friends, okay? That's another story. But it, uh, CNA life is a, it's not bad. Um, I can understand HHA, you at somebody's home, but CNA, you just clock in and you clock out, you do your work, you stay focused in the game. I like CNA life because to tell you the truth, I do 11 to 7, night shift. I used to do 3 to 11 two years ago. And to tell you the truth, 3 to 11 is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You clock in at three o'clock. By the time you clock in, you got to get yourself ready. You check everybody in. You check their door. See everybody's alive. After they, after you check everybody is alive, you go and see which assignment you, which assignment you take in. You take your assignment, 
And sometimes if you're new, they'll give you the, the nastiest assignment because that's the, that's your initiation. Um, if you don't believe that, believe me, that's what happened. Uh, they give you the nastiest assignment and plus um, after you get your assignment, you, you get your chuck ready, your chart chuck ready, basically like your bin where you throw out your feces and urine, your bedding, everything. And after you do that, then you go introduce yourself to people and you say, hey, you know, I am like, I'm Mrs. Leon. I'm going to be here with you today. If anything, you need to call light. Please call me if you need anything. Um, that was 3 to 11. 3 to 11 was a tough shift. You got to feed them, undress them, put them to bed. 11 to 7, you get there. You do almost the same thing, but you only changing them from um maybe from 12 to 1 and from 4 to until 7 that's when you change them again if he's you know if they get a little accident or you know you just check on them see if they're wet you don't want to the, the morning shift to see that you didn't do your job because they will complain but um cna and hha life is two different ball games like yes there is different options there's medical assistance there is phlebotomy there's ekg I did those things. I did the um, pa uh, patient care technician. I did patient care technician. I did phlebotomy. I did EKG, um, and I did CNA. But what happened? I didn't go. I didn't go for them. I didn't apply for them. I didn't work on them, and I um, I didn't get the chance to take the test because I had to take care of my mom. My mom was very sick, and we were in a situation where I sh they needed me. My parents really, really needed me. So I choose family like I always do. I choose family over work. I choose family over school. I choose family because at the end of the day, you know, they created you, yes, to go to school. But if they have nobody, if they language barrier, you know, who's going to take care of them, you know? And you don't want somebody else to come and take care of your family for you and mistreat them. And then now at the end of the day, you still have to get to do what you got to do. Um, CNA is a very good job. Um, but you got to stay focused in the game. You really got to stay focused in the game. You really have to stay focused in the game. Because what happens is sometimes the other CNAs will definitely push your buttons. They'll definitely bring you into a, a, a category where you just want to leave the job. You're going to quit. You know? Um, I've seen it several times in the facility that I'm working in. And when I do see them, um, they intimidate the newcomers. And and then you guys get very upset when you're short. Like, you're short because you intimidate the other girls. And they leave because they don't want to deal with your attitude. I'm getting into my feelings. Um, I, wanna, I really want to make another video on in-depth of how to go ahead and pass the CNA course. But this is my little story of the difference between CNA and um, HHA. If you want to, if you pick this video and you really wanted to do HHA, go ahead, do HHA. If you see like there's a time management between you and your child and when you have to pick up your child, when you have to do this, that, and third, go ahead, do HHA. If you have to do CNA, do CNA, but you know that CNA, there's a seven to three, a three to eleven and eleven to seven, and you cannot be act. Um, you cannot be late all the time to those jobs. Those jobs, you really gotta be there on time. Seriously, but um, that's all. That's all for now. Um, I'm definitely gonna give you guys more videos on CNA and HHA, and this is just part one of my little series. Um, I really like the fact that you guys took the time to watch my channel and like it and share it. And, you know, you guys do little hearts and comment. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, thank you for supporting my family. Thank you again. <laughs> Please share, like, and subscribe. And quickly, what did you do? Abonnez. Please, abonnez. Thank you again. Bye.